Welcome to Yoga with Tracy. Today we have a 10 minute gentle yoga flow. We'll be sinking breath to movement and working towards improving flexibility, balance and strength. Hi, I'm Tracy. Let's start the practice in child's pose. Begin by sitting on your heels and slowly folding forwards. Bring your chest, your thighs and your forehead to the mat. Arms stretch forwards as you allow your body to relax into the pose. Throughout today's practice, try and maintain a steady rhythmic breath, long and slow inhales and exhales. Notice how your breath has now moved to the back of the body, breathing fully into the back of your torso as you feel it widen and soften. Moving into a lateral child's pose, walking your hands over to the right, then settling your head back onto the mat. Drawing the breath into the left rib cage as we expand the left side of the body. As you exhale, soften in the shoulders and sign out any tension. Walking the hands over to the left, let's repeat on the other side, drawing the breath into the right rib cage and expanding the right side of the body. Feel the spine being gently extended as we begin to awaken the energy points in our body. Maintaining the long, slow inhalations and exhalations to help promote relaxation and release. Moving the hands back to centre and slowly coming up onto all fours. You want your knees under your hips, hands right under your shoulders, palms shoulder width apart and fingers spread nice and wide facing forwards. Inhaling, dropping the belly as you lift your chin and chest. Exhaling, rounding the back, crown of head towards the floor. Repeating twice more, make sure you don't collapse into your shoulders. Cat cow is a gorgeous posture to move energy through the spine, loosening tightness in our upper backs as we move fluidity throughout the body. This time, as you drop the belly towards the floor, taking it over to the left, up through centre, and allow the back to gently arch over to the right in a circular motion. Find your flow and enjoy that release of the tension in your back and shoulders. Reversing the circles, maintaining your breath with movement. Finishing and coming into stillness and step the right foot forwards. Knee directly stacked above your ankle and your hands on either side of that front foot. Inhaling, raising both arms above your head. Exhaling, lowering the arms. Repeating twice more, stretching the thighs, the groin as we open our chest in crescent moon. Long slow inhale as you lift and long exhale as you lower. Stepping your right foot back and coming into plank. Let's begin to activate the core muscles. Keep pushing the floor away from you, head in line with your spine. Take care not to let those hips sink too low. You should now be feeling a strong contraction in your stomach muscles, holding for one more slow breath. Begin to push your hips back and up as you come into downward facing dog, heels towards the floor. Pressing your hands into the mat, relaxing your head between your arms and directing your gaze through your legs 
or towards your belly button. Feeling that gorgeous stretch at the back of your legs. It's okay to keep the knees bent. Everyone's flexibility will be at different levels. Engage your core and lift your right leg, keeping your alignment, hips square. Then bring your right knee forwards towards your right wrist. Then find what feels right for you. Could be behind the wrist or to the outer or inner edge. Right ankle somewhere in front of your left hip. Centering yourself so your weight is even. Keeping the weight back into your hips. Taking your hands out as wide as the mat, just ahead of your shoulders. On your next exhale, bending the arms and folding forwards as you bring your forehead to the mat. Inhaling, pressing into the palms and pushing back up. Repeating this variation of pigeon pose twice more. Notice how we can expand the chest as we flex the spine. The great way we can stretch our hips and lower back. Coming back onto your hands and knees, and we're gonna repeat that sequence on the other side. Stepping the left foot forwards, moving into our low lunge, inhaling, raising the arms up, exhaling and lower. Inhaling, arms up, and exhaling as we lower. Repeating one more time as we also work on our balance. Hands pressing into the floor as you lift your back knee and coming back into plank. Working back on strength, toning up the core muscles and strengthening the arms. You should all be feeding, your core muscles being really activated here. Holding for one more round of breath. Pushing your hips back and up for downward facing dog. Keep the palms pushing into the mat, fingers nice and wide. Inhaling and exhaling deeply. Let's hold for two more breaths in this wonderful yoga pose that stretches and strengthens almost every muscle in our bodies. Engaging your core muscles once again and lifting your left leg and then bringing your left knee forwards into pigeon pose. Centering yourself, inhaling as we lengthen through the spine, exhaling, bending the elbows, forehead to mat, inhaling, pushing yourself back up, repeating the flow twice more. Slow and gentle with the flow. Inhaling as you rise, and this time swinging your right leg forwards. We're going to move into head to knee forward fold. So, legs stretched out in front of you, feet together, arms at your sides. Activate the feet by flexing your toes. Inhaling, raise the arms above your head, and exhaling as you extend the arms along the legs. Or you can try and hold the big toes or the side of the feet. It's absolutely fine to keep the knees bent to lighten the posture. But if you do reach the feet easily, you can straighten the legs, bend in the elbows and bring the forehead to the knees. Feel the sensations in the back of the body in this intense stretch. Allowing gravity to do the work, just surrendering into the posture. Clasping your hands together, four fingers pointing forwards, and very slowly lowering yourself down onto your back. Really activate those core muscles. And once down, remaining on your back, with your knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Have the feet hip width apart. With your arms at your sides, palms pushing into the mat. Taking a deep breath as you raise the body up from the hips. Holding for one round of breath, Exhaling as you lower. Repeating once more. Lightly engaging your glutes, 
hamstrings and core. Exhale into lower. Raising the hips one more time. Coming up onto the balls of your feet. Intensifying the stretch. Placing the heels back down and exhaling to lower. Hugging your knees into your chest, relaxing your face and softening your jaw. Keeping your right leg bent and lifting your left leg along the floor. Crossing your right knee over to the left and coming into a spinal twist. Opening the right arm to the right side in line with your shoulder and maybe resting the left hand on your knee. This is such a lovely way to restore spine neutrality and balance in our nervous systems. Try and keep both shoulders glued to the mat. Allow your body to really surrender into this pose. Breath remaining slow and unhurried. Gently rolling onto your back. Hugging both knees into your chest before repeat on the other side. Lengthening your right leg along the mat. Drawing the left leg over to the right. Opening your left arm out to the side. And enjoying a few peaceful moments here. Slowly rolling onto your back, hugging both knees into your chest. Begin to rock side to side. This is a really nice way to give the back a massage. I do love this after a spinal twist. Lowering the feet to the floor, rolling onto one side and then using your arm strength to slowly push yourself up and come into a cross-legged seated position. Today's class has been all about sinking our breath to movement, working towards improving flexibility, balance and strength. Fingertips on the floor at your sides, inhaling, raising the arms up above your head, palms together, exhaling, drawing palms to chest. Repeating twice more, maybe looking up to the hands, Exhaling as you sigh out. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed.